All right, let's get this party started. Whoa. Shake your We're going to a party! We are left on County Highway 42. GPS always interrupting me. We're going to a party! Yep. Hey! <laughs> well, they could tell me to turn in different directions in a short period of time, but it was like it was like eight, nine different commands right there. Every time I tried to talk, she has something to say. Yeah. Lady, wait your turn. So, are we going to a grand opening? Is that what this is? Or a We're gonna reveal? go check out, they came out with a new uh, Lincoln Navigator, so we're going to a car dealership in Minnesota, and we're just going to this little party. We're gonna check out the car. We're gonna check out the event, have some good food. So it's like a grand reveal for the Lincoln Navigator. Yeah, the brand new 2018 or 2019 Ford Lincoln Navigator. Not Ford. Is that how it works? Blah, blah, blah. The brand new 2019 Lincoln Navigator. Oh, fun! But um, it should be a good time. They should have hors d'oeuvres and stuff. So. Let's go check it out. We're in Apple Valley, Minnesota. Oh, oh. Is it always first thing first with you? What? All right, so this is pretty cool. We just came in, we got some delicious hors d'oeuvres. They have a bar over here. They have a Lincoln Navigator over there. I love the color of it. It's a cool car. Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture sitting in the driver's seat and pretend like I have one and I'm driving it inside a store. Remember, you can just make it on the internet, pretend like you have one, like little day. You don't actually have to have all that cool stuff. Oh my God, the hors d'oeuvres here are amazing. Yes. I got my I got my handful too. John found his new car. Driving it off the lot today. Yep. It's pretty <laughs> cool actually. Yeah, it's awesome. I like when new car dealerships have older cars in them. It kind of shows like the owner appreciates like the history of their vehicles and things like that. But that's a really cool truck. So here is the new Lincoln and I think the color is so pretty. I just got done taking a picture in there. Everyone wants to keep looking at it though, and so I felt bad like trying to sit there and get a good picture, but if you take a picture with it and post it on Instagram, you can win a trip to New York, so I gotta get my good photo, right? Do you think you could get all your junk in that trunk? automatic buttons. Oh, really? Raise and lower the seats. Oh, I see what you're doing. That is something that you would be doing. Pushing all the buttons. <laughs> Just pushing buttons back here. <laughs> That's what you want. You want a pickup truck. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna get one this winter. I, like, what? having one car is, oh, we haven't talked about this? Having one car is cool, and I think it's like, we work from home, I love it, but I think in the winter we almost need two cars, just in case. Like Why a pickup truck? Because uh, I want to just man it up a little bit. Well, you don't work on a farm or anything. You don't need a pickup truck. Good. Hank Hill. So this is the new Lincoln Navigator. It's got a, it's got a good feel to it. It's very comfortable. I kind of like it. It's very trendy. So neither one of you guys liked my joke. No. Some guy came and sat down next to John in the Lincoln, and I go, hey, who's your new friend? Where are you guys going? I already asked him where we were going. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't hear you, so that's why he didn't laugh at me, because it was like Yeah, you were overdone. just a girl there. It was done to twice. yourself into our road trip. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, we had a blast talking about everything Navigator related. He, he straight up looked at me like, like I was just, I don't know. Third wheel. So I guess I was. I was totally the third wheel. Yeah. Technically You're, the fifth wheel or seventh wheel maybe. <laughs> he yeah. already made that joke. Yeah. Can't make the same joke twice. It's true. I didn't hear it. Dang it. I thought I was going to be so funny. Which one do you like better? The blue one or the red one? Jeez, tough question. I don't like the chrome, like, uh, like the chrome accessories on the red one, so I kind of like the one a little better. But this one is instead of camping, which is kind of crazy, it's got a tent on the back, it's got an air mattress, tent, and everything. That's kind of cool. That That is really cool. I love camping. I want to go camping. I like trucks that have four doors, too, you know? I prefer to have four doors versus two doors. A lot more room back there for the passengers. Oh, look at that. John, you got a lighter? <laughs> no, but I can start a fire with a shoelace. Oh, yeah, you went to wilderness camp. I'm wearing sandals. 
So I got this plant, it's called a bleeding heart. I got it from my mom. And I think I'm gonna plant it right here next to the deck. It, it's a Japanese plant, it has all these really purple flowers on it when it blooms. Uh, but I think it'd be really pretty just right here. And Nikki's gonna be cooking dinner for her dad tonight. Um, so we're gonna sit outside, we're just gonna relax, we're gonna enjoy the nice summer night. I'm gonna get the fire pit going, I'm gonna plant this plant. And uh, then we will eat just a wonderful dinner cooked by Nikki. All right, let's get this party started. Whoa! <laughs> party started. That was quick. What a beautiful fire pit. What do you think? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So while then Grandpa and Iris tend to the fire, I'm going to dig my hole for this It doesn't heart. look like much now because it's been transplanted, but once it uh, starts digging its roots in, it'll grow up and healthy and strong in about a month. It'll look fantastic. And we got about two inches of rain last night, but sadly, it kind of put the fire out. But uh, it was actually nice just to get it burning for the first time, kind of get all the leaves burnt out of there, all the sticks. Just kind of get the fire ring in order, but uh, sadly, <laughs> the fire went out. What are you up to? Oh, rinsing the salad. Ooh, cooking dinner for us? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. It smells delicious, baby. Baby one, baby two. Baby number three. And there we have it, the finished product. It looks delicious, it smells delicious. Maple and rosemary glazed pork cutlets with couscous and a creamy apple salad. It looks like I'm ending this vlog with an update. I only have one and a half eyebrows. John shaved off my eyebrow again when I was sleeping. And I'm kind of mad about it, but I'm getting over it. I'll get even. I know I will. I always do. But yeah, so this is what I am going to look like for the next couple months, maybe the whole summer. I don't know how long it's going to take to grow back, but I only have one whole eyebrow again. Dang it, John. Look, he didn't even get all of it. You couldn't even do that right, John. You couldn't even get my whole eyebrow. I have this weird thing going on here. And I have a group of friends in the area that we just moved into. And now I'm gonna be a weirdo who has to explain why I'm missing most of my other eyebrow. <laughs> so um, if you haven't checked out the prank video, it's up on Pranksters in Love. Go check it out. Give it a thumbs up. I'm mad about it, but Pranksters in Love is still half my channel. And I'll get even, don't worry. <sighs> One eyebrow bandit, that's what John was calling me. So this is me. This is gonna be me in the vlogs for a while. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.